Hey guys, so as you can see, I am still stuck here rolling for the double leprechauns, but unfortunately my rerolls are about to run out anytime soon. But in the meantime, while we're still rolling, since we're on the topic of quirks, let's go ahead and talk about the updated quirks that have happened to this update. We had a lot of uh, changes on the quirks, we had some rebalancing and we have a new quirk assassin. So we're going to go ahead and reevaluate our tier list. And this is kind of how it looks like right now, at least uh, by my uh, standards. We have a couple of rebalances which we're going to talk about. As you guys can see right here, Black Hole had its critical strike chance nerfed by 20%. It's down to 1.3x. No other changes besides the uh, critical strike chance. Moving on, on the S plus tier list that I have, I have Assassin, which is our brand new mythical passive. I think this passive is honestly a little bit too strong. Uh, just by looking at it, we have 20% damage, 2 times attack speed, 2 times movement speed, 20% critical strike chance, and 2 times boss damage. So this is like a tactical 3 on steroids. I don't know, I feel like this passive is a little bit too strong uh, in my eyes, the way it is right now. It does seem to perform extremely well as well. And next up, we have Sniper making an appearance on our S plus in the tier list, which is uh, kind of crazy to think about, right? Nobody would expect a Sniper, which considering it was uh, an A-tier passive on the last tier list to jump up to S+. Now, as you guys have probably noticed, every single other quirk has had its critical strike chance nerfed, which kind of makes room for Sniper to actually sign. And we have 1.2x damage, which was the same as the previous time. And we have only a 10% critical strike chance nerf from Sniper, so from 1.75 to 1.6. And we have this 2x critical damage multiplier, so that automatically makes our crits insane in terms of value. And yeah, that instantly just bumps up Sniper up to an S plus tier. Next up on the S tier category, we have Archmage. You guys are pretty familiar with that. It used to be the best mythical pass on release. Again, slightly nerfed uh, by 10%. It's now 1.4 instead of 1.5x damage. That 50% ultimate damage stays the same and 20 ability charge. And moving on, we have Giant. In a similar fashion, Giant was uh, nerfed on its uh, critical strike chance. It's down to 20% crit. The damage multiplier stays the same. We also have 50% critical damage boost. So like your crits will do, instead of two times damage, they will do like 2.5 times. Does it make sense? I don't know. Or rather, no, 1.5 actually. Yeah, I guess 50%. I don't know. I'm actually confused whether your crits by default do two times damage or not. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it to wrap up this category. And then we're going to move on to the A tier. Obviously, Thief. Now, Thief is a must have for the drops, as you guys probably know. Like, utility team, you need a team with double Thief passive. But besides that, its damage is not that bad, like 1.25x damage and 2x attack speed, so it performs relatively well. Next up, pretty self-explanatory, strong and sorcerer 3, uh, we don't really need to say anything about them. And on the B tier we have Leprechaun, which is basically a smaller version of Thief in terms of its damage output. 1.1x, so just a 10% damage improvement and 2 times attack speed, and that's pretty much it. And then we just have our Accurate 3 with the crit and teleport. Now, anything else, as uh, the pick says, pretty self-explanatory, you can go ahead and reroll because it does not matter. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only surprise, I think, in this tier is Sniper, and I'll explain you why now. Um, basically, I think, in my eyes, without any testing, the best combination in the game is going to be Black Hole plus Sniper plus Demonic or Furious equipment. Probably demonic just to cap out your crit. So basically, you have black hole and sniper. That combination should give you 90% critical strike chance. You also have uh, 2x critical strike damage from sniper, which is really, really good. And yeah, I think that uh, in my eyes, this is the best combination by far. And like, I literally mean by far uh, in the game. I don't know. I don't see any other combination overtaking that. Assassin with Sniper might be very competitive on the boss. It might actually edge out Black Hole. And yeah, speaking of which, as Black Hole, something that I did not mention, which is, uh, I don't want to say game breaking, but it's definitely important, is that uh, its movement speed was changed from 1.5x to 3x. And 
a lot of people have been stating that black hole units simply do not teleport anymore, like they do not uh, instant transmission onto the enemies, which it previously did, which was a really, really nice feature. So yeah, we'll see uh, how that one does play out actually. But yeah, uh, I think Black Hole Sniper is going to be the best combination to go to or Assassin with Sniper. I would actually uh, put Sniper second behind uh, Black Hole and above Assassin, but I don't think it really matters. Like, you guys can see uh, the passives anyway. And yeah, I think that should pretty much wrap up the entire list. Now, uh, another combination. I don't know how Archimage pairs anymore. Archimage with Sniper is still probably a really good combo. But yeah, in my eyes, guys, uh, I think Sniper is just the must-have passive. I think uh, Black Hole Sniper uh, edges out 2x Black Hole. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll be testing within the very near future, obviously, the next couple of days. I do have a Zenitsu with double Black Hole. So I might as well just overnight it gets a couple of hours to get one more black hole and throw a sniper or something and test it out i don't really know but yeah uh, i'm very very curious to be honest just to see uh about how this thing plays out like i'm really curious i think sniper is the best uh in the game so yeah we'll have to find out i guess and there you go oh my god i just got black hole in the game uh that is so unfortunate Okay, I would like to inform you guys that so far I've gotten four black holes and four lepra counts. So yeah, the ratio of 1-1 uh, black hole to leprechaun is kind of a bummer at this point. Like, I feel like I should have been done with uh, seven leprechauns a long time ago. But yeah, the game is uh, punishing me for whatever the reason. I don't know what uh, crimes I've committed, but yeah, I am not getting lucky at all. So yeah, stay tuned guys, within the next couple of uh, days we'll be running tests. But I think after the recent tuning with this update, Sniper is really, it feels like a must have because I'll explain you why, right? Uh, I don't know if you guys played Army Fighters, I assume most of you did. When your units casted up their ultimates, essentially what was happening is every single tick of the ultimate had its own crit multiplier, right? Now, in this game, ultimate works slightly different as to where as soon as your unit casts its ultimate and the crit RNG is getting calculated at the start of it. If that decides to crit, like the very first like uh, math crits, that is basically how your entire uh, ultimate is going to be. So it's literally just one math for the entire ability, uh, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and yeah, like I believe that uh, crit plays a a very, very, very crucial role on the output of your damage on this. Uh, current state of the game and I guess like that's not gonna change right I think like if they designed the game like that for uh, the crit to work like that like just uh, one single cast I think it's just gonna stay like that for the entirety of the game so yeah uh, more value to sniper I feel like sniper is a must-have at this point and yeah as I said I feel like that it probably edges out double black hole in Probably most tests. Obviously, you will have a test where the 60% crit chance for double black hole is gonna pop off and you might get some numbers, but I feel like Sniper is gonna outedge both of them. But yeah, anyway, guys, that was pretty much it. As always, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all on the next video. Take care.